Good morning, boys and that one girl who watches me. If you are a girl that watches me, hey, it is Thursday, Tuesday, what day are we on now? Kitten, what day is it? Oh, great kitten, give me your wisdom. What is today? It is Thursday. It might be Tuesday. Well, we need to celebrate this moment because this is the end of printing. This is the last part of the snake. Just one. Okay. And Yuki is done. Both hands. Done. Don't have to deal with that sassafras no more. It's a good thing I was re-watching my videos because I just remembered there's something wrong with this. So let's actually look and see if we have any problems with this print. No, it looks like it got out unscathed. I have to use tools to loosen my screws now because they're tight. And also, trying to unscrew them is destroying my finger pads and then I get resin and I, it's not doing great things for my skin trying to rip these things open. So I used a little tool. It's working. Especially this one because she's old. Let's have a look under here. Yep, there it is again. We do have a hole. It is confirmed. Yep, there is the little bastard. That's a hole. Now I have this other one down here. And I don't remember if that one has a hole in it also. I could just swap them out, but... Now I'm concerned. Can't remember if I learned this trick from somebody else or I made it up, but take a piece of paper towel, soak it in alcohol, and put it on your screen, and it'll loosen the resin. Mm, I'm not sure if that's me or somebody else, or it's actually even true, but we're gonna let that sit for like a minute. Yeah, I say that looks pretty good now. Good job. I need a bigger house. If somebody wants to buy me a bigger house, that'd be really nice. I'm gonna put that on the Patreon as a subscriber tier. If you buy me a house, you get to fuck me. And I'm talking like flat out paid, not no down payments. I'm talking about whole thing. There you go. All right, let's start taking this apart. Oh wait, I forgot about the soup. Soup. Now remember, children, when you're making soup, you gotta make sure to put lots of love into it and also spit in it a little. That way they know you love them because you're giving them part of your body. Soup? That's what Grandma always used to say. When I was putting Hancock together the first time, I was like, this is clearly the front. And I was like, why don't these legs fit? But that's the front and that's the back because her butt is hanging out. The key is to low heat over a long period. And plenty of alcohol. I've had Naruto on for several days trying to just get through it. Because I never watched Naruto when I was growing up. I mean, I guess I started or something, but it was, it never really resonated with me. And now as an adult, oh my God, does it not. It's not good. I, again, I don't know if it's the dub, because I'm watching it in English. I, I know that a lot of like Spanish people just go nuts for Naruto, and I don't know how you could get through what it is. It's all campy, it's childish, none of the characters are likable at all. I think I'm still in the shooting exam, they're doing one-on-one -on -one fights or something, but like, nobody is has any redeeming qualities. The only reason I'm keeping it on is because I got nothing else to watch and my brain feels like it's dying because I have ADHD and if I don't have cost stimulation, I'll kill myself. Like trying to go to sleep every night is just, what's the greatest hits we've heard in the last day? And if you're on TikTok, oh boy, it's a lot of things and it just plays those songs on loop over and over and over for hours until finally either you pass off from exhaustion or you just get up and do something else. That's what sleep is like. Let's go! Part one. Part two. 
every single layer down has to have a smaller Allen wrench. But I feel I have to watch Naruto, cause like, I mean, my first cosplay was from Bleach, and then Bleach went off the rails. Uh, I cosplayed from One Piece, um, but I never really like, got into, into One Piece, till like last year, when I was just like, you know what, let's watch the anime. Anime is important. It, the stories are amazing. And you obviously would agree with that or you wouldn't be watching this channel. But I guess of the big three, it had to be kind of not great in order to break into Western civilization. Because, I mean, clearly they were trying to target it at kids. They're like, yep, anime, best for kids. That's a kid's cartoon. So we got to make it goofy and campy for kids. Hence the four kids. I believe that America has recovered from what 4Kids did to One Piece, but, oh boy, that was, that was rough. But according to other people on TikTok, it is hilarious. I mean, terrible for what they did, but also if you go and watch the 4Kids dub, it's hilarious the stupid things they've done. Also, did you know that in the start uh, of the rap or whatever, uh, is a gold roger uh that is seto kaiba saying all that so go back and listen you'll be like oh my god it is seto kaiba searching for one piece the treasure that would make their dreams come true oh my god this takes so long put the new sheet on sandwich it and then get some screws and just go to town you're gonna have to punch holes same with changing a tire. I don't know if this is accurate, but I do one top, one bottom. You want to distribute your screwing so you don't... I don't know. I don't know why, but I don't want to change a tire. I wonder if Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood really changed the way anime is done. Because before that, a lot, most studios would like they'd get a property and they'd be like, all right, we're gonna follow the manga to a point and then just, we're gonna make our own in order to have a finished season. And then Brotherhood came out and became the most loved series on every chart across the board. And then they kind of stopped doing that. They kind of stopped like abridging things. They're like, no, no, we're just gonna, we're gonna follow the manga as best we can. If I was to say that what is peak long format anime now, uh, My Hero Academia, poof, they're nailing it. Nailing it, hands down. Every character is great, the writing is good, it's a good time. Next layer, you just, you tighten one side just a little bit, then go to the other, punch a hole, put in a screw, tighten it just a little, because it's gonna get hard. Then just keep moving around the board, trying to get it to bite into the screw. Because it's gonna get harder. Then you go around with a blade and just slice it all the way around. And you're done. The thing that we were printing last night, finished, slips right in just like that. Now we have grippies. But here we go, Boa Hancock is finished. She got a little bit taller with that, well, I guess not. But there she is. Big ol' cyberpunk snake. Well, that's for the printers. There's nothing else we got printing. So I think we're just about ready to go. Um, stay tuned. Uh, love you all. Bye.